Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? Oh, Mama, he done lost it. I think he's got a couple of screws loose. A couple of screws? Oh, he's got some marbles and some screws, and he's got some ratchets and a couple of other things that are just missing. Look, ladies and gentlemen, y'all hold on a second, because Al Green is talking to me. Now, y'all know when Al Green comes on, that means somebody trying to call that fool. Um, Y'all excuse me. I'm going to go get him so he can talk to y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, guess what? Many of you would have seen the last video. I just got finished telling the young man who just called. I told him that that video is the greatest of all times. Now, it ain't greater than what Jesus did because, well, Jesus ain't did no video. So it's the greatest video of all times. Not the greatest of all times, but the greatest video of all times. Why is that? Well, let me tell you, let me give you a little scenario. All rise. The Honorable, I am walking into the room and I want everybody to admire me, is about to take the bench. Your Honor, are you ready to seat your fat in that chair? All right, you may be seated. Okay, who do we have here first? Oh, Miss Elzamima Heimer. Miss Heimer, I see you. You, you, you owe this. Uh, who's this? AT and T. Four thousand eight hundred and forty dollars. Miss Elzamima, I just needs to know. Is this true? <laughs> Your Honor, let me tell you. I, 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 I don't know what to tell you. All I know is that they said I owed them something. And then they entered into a contract with me. Because I told them, hey, I'll accept I owe you that. But you got you to gotta understand. I, 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 I just can't be going through all this anymore. And so, Your Honor, we, we got a contract. See right here? It's that, that's a contract, Your Honor. And, and it says uh, arbitration. No, no. It says arbitration, Your Honor. So, I'm going to have to ask you <clears throat> to get off your facts and order them going to arbitration. Now, we don't need your permission because the contract says arbitration in the Supreme Court, January 9th, 2000, or January 8th, 2019. They said as long as the contract, this thing right here, has arbitration in it, that the arbitrator gets to decide whether or not the contract is binding and whether or not the arbitration is binding. So since the Supreme Court just decided that, I'm going to have to tell you, you ain't got no jurisdiction, okay, over this matter. So they can't come running to you, Your Honor. They have stopped. The contract said they have stopped. They can't come running to you no more. No, no, this puts a stop to them coming into your stupid little courts. Y'all running your little commercial system, your little commercial administrative courts and trying to trying to keep and take control of us. Y'all can't do that no more. Supreme Court just said it. Now, if you, if, if, if you, if, 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 Your Honor, you got me nervous here. If, if you want to change things up, if you want to sit up here and make it look like, 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 like y'all going to stop us from doing this, then you got to stop yourselves from doing it too. See, you can't put an end to this, Your Honor. Because the moment you try to put an end to us doing it, that means you can't do it no more. And that's how y'all been hurting us with this arbitration stuff, Your Honor. Y'all been arbitrating us all over the place. Making us go to arbitration. Calling arbitration binding. Well, guess what? This arbitration agreement is binding too. Oh, you want me to explain the document to you? Sure, I'll explain it to you. You, you need some explaining, I'm going to give you some. First, you see, it's a conditional acceptance. See, when they sent me that bill telling me I had to pay, they were sitting up there making me an offer. Here, you pay this, we'll accept it. And so I said, I accept your offer under these terms and conditions. See, I gave them a notice of change in terms of condition of the contract. Now, you know it's a contract. It's an agreement between two parties. And so only the two parties have a say-so in it. So they agreed. Yeah, they had 10 days. And if they didn't respond, it would be construed according to the terms of the agreement. 
of them agreeing to the terms of the and conditions of the contract. So we have a, <clears throat> you ought to take a look. We have a contract and they in default. Now, we got a default letter, and the default letter is right clear, giving them three days to cure the default, but they had to prove they didn't receive this. How did I send it to them? Your Honor, they got a website, and they got an email address, so that means they accept email. So I sent it to them by email. That way, I ain't have to pay for no stupid postage. That's a lot of postage. If you, if you go to the post office, that's just making them rich. I'm sending this through the email address. That's right, because that as long as they accept emails, I can serve them this document because this ain't no court document, so I ain't got to follow your service. I send it straight to the executive office, to the executive offices themselves. That's right. Oh, no, Your Honor, nobody was doing this before me. Everybody else was sending their stuff through the mail. I'm sending my stuff through email, and I'm keeping it in that stream so I can prove I sent it to them. And that's all the law requires is that I send it to them and have proof I sent it to them. That's right. That's new information for y'alls. All right. Now, I'm going to continue, Your Honor, because stop interrupting me, Okay lose my train of my mother my, my 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 see you got me sitting up here messing up on my words again i'm gonna have to ask for a recess in a minute where was i no oh, that's right now the contract has some questions but see you don't know well yes you do because you a judge you understand exactly what these questions are these questions are taken directly from a supreme court case the very first eight questions are from a Supreme Court case where we're taking the actual wording of the Supreme Court and asking, is this not true? Knowing that the Supreme Court says it's true, that they can't rebut that. And then we take the stuff from the Treasury, from directly from their wording, and ask the person if this is not true. Knowing that they cannot contradict that because the Treasury received this authority in 1933. According to the Presidential Proclamation 2039, just got to go read it. The President authorized the United States Secretary of the Treasury. So the Treasury Department has authorization under this military jurisdiction. And that's what we put in there so they can't get around that. So they acquiescing to everything. Then we put in there about how they issue these credit things. Now look, here, here's the thing about the credits. Ladies and ladies and gentlemen of the of the jury and of the audience and of the court, they be issuing these these stupid internal credits. Well, fine. What we do is we do these things called assignments of our equitable interest. Now we do it with a friend, somebody we love and we trust and we can depend on. We don't do it with nobody, you know, no shady people because they can just take our stuff right from under us and we end up being homeless nonetheless, not even having the banks do it, but having somebody we call a friend do it. So you want to do it with somebody you can trust. You can even uh, do the assignment and assign it to a trust and make yourself the trustee of that trust. Well, anyway, we do these things called assignments. Now, the person who receives the assignment, Your Honor, what they do is they go ahead and they pay them back in the exact same thing that they use for consideration, which is credit. See, they ain't out of no money, and the law on the, what's the word for it? It ain't, re it's redemption. The law on redemption says we just have to pay them for their costs. Well, their costs, if you look at their financial records, is nothing more than credits. That's right. They, they, they get paid back in credits, and that's what we do. We do a money order for credits. So now we have proof that we tendered payment in a form that is acceptable by the banks. But hold on. We went one step further. We said we accept your offer under the terms and conditions of 12 U.S.C. 411. This is an obligation of the United States. This is a letter of credit. So here, take this letter of credit, give it to your bank, and if you are a bank, take it and exchange it with the Treasury Department. It's a coupon. So exchange it with the Treasury Department. Oh, and by the way, the Treasury, we're doing an assignment to the Treasury on behalf of the United States. The Treasury, you need to credit my account. It's all about credit, y'all. 
That's what the that's what the whole idea is. And the treasury gonna be like, we ain't crediting nothing. And you be like, you show? And they be like, yeah, we show. And you say, okay, mother, we gonna balance this here, mother, budget. And we gonna take you into arbitration. But you look at our contract, that contract says, hey, we gonna have you held in contempt. You violate this agreement. That's right. Arbitrator can hold them in contempt. There ain't nothing the judge can do about it. Okay? Can hold them in contempt. Now, arbitrator may not be able to, we don't know if it's ever been done, assign criminal penalties. Don't know that. Put somebody in jail. We don't know that. We don't want to try anything like that. Y'all don't want to play that game. But you can, as an arbitrator, borrow, bar somebody from an engaging in commercial activities and commercial business activities because that's a privilege regulated by Congress. So under the Federal Arbitration Act, Congress recognized the arbitrator to have such authority. So you don't want to play with the arbitrator. Okay, now here's the next thing. So y'all know. This is something we weren't telling everybody, but we're going to let y'all know so y'all can understand. The reason why we do the assignment to the United States Treasury and then tell them to go ahead and take care of the problem and then tell them to credit our account is so we can balance that budget because that budget is just so out of control. And if everybody was to do this, there'd be no debt in the entire world. Why? Because everybody would be using their birthright credit. That's right, you heard me say birthright credit to take care of all their debt. Remember, Congress said it is to be paid back dollar for dollar in any coin or currency, which is at the time of issuance, legal tender in the United States. Well, ladies and gentlemen, credit is legal tender in the United States. You don't believe me? That's okay. You ain't got to believe me. So, now, Your Honor, the other thing that this takes care of, because it has the arbitration agreement and the caveat, oh, that caveat is so good, you mix it with some ketchup and that caveat tastes so, so good. Anyway, oh, I'm sorry, I was thinking about caviar, ketchup and caviar. Man, I'm telling you, you ain't never had, I ain't never had caviar a day in my life, Your Honor. I'm just sitting up here talking. Anyway, oh, you want me to finish? Okay, well, the end of the document, the caveat and the arbitration agreement, oh, our arbitration agreement specifically says AAA, not, it says SAA, why? Well, because SAA ain't run by no lawyers of no AAA who usually protect and shield each other. We don't want to be a part of nothing like that. So that's why SAA or, and it does say, or any arbitrator being a neutral party whom the undersign or the grantor may select. This is what we're doing. So for those of y'all who really didn't really understand the video because you didn't really understand, y'all just got to go back and listen to it again. So your honor. I'm sorry, y'all. We got to get back to talking to the judge. She was sitting up there getting kind of lonesome. Your Honor, see this contract right here? It says arbitration. Well, we go into arbitration, okay? Now, while we go into arbitration, you sit here and you wait for us to get back, okay? Because we got to go settle some things. Days go by weeks go by hey your honor how you doing oh no we back oh did we take care of our arbitration of course we did what was the determination well your honor they have to pay us three times the amount oh no we're not here to get this certified by you we don't need your confirmation of the award we're not looking for anybody to confirm the award no we are gonna hold off on that we're looking to enforce the contract because this is a case about contract. And, oh, let me warn you, Your Honor, you can't determine whether the contract is binding or not because it's already been determined by the arbitrator. And the FAA does not give you the authority 
to supersede the arbitrator. You're on the same footing. The arbitrator is an officer of the court the same as you are. You're both magistrates. And so, it says three times the amount, Your Honor. And they haven't paid a dime. So I need you to order them to pay me now. Ladies and gentlemen, that is really how simple it is. You see, the case law is in the document and the understanding is there. The only thing you have to do is enforce your contract. Now, when we say enforce, it doesn't mean you go out there and force somebody to understand it. It means you stand by the contract. The Supreme Court has held that if you waiver, then you waive your rights under your contract. So we bring this to your attention so that you know. So if you have any issues, if you have any problems understanding this, then this should give you a better understanding and a better way of looking at things. With that being said, I'm real tired, so it's time for me to go to sleep. It's only, what is that, 1025 in the evening. So it's time to go nighty night. Y'all take care. Y'all have a good day. At 16 minutes and 25 seconds, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Goodbye.